First at 4.30, a warning in tonight's top story. Graphic images show severe injuries a man allegedly suffered at the hands of HPD during the New Year's Day manhunt of Sydney to Fokitao. He and his father are now suing the department and the city. This is 25-year-old Tavita Cariente, who is now recovering from a facial fracture, a concussion, and vision loss. His attorneys say HPD rammed Cariente into a chain-link fence with a police van as he and his father, Valkehekehe Mataele, ran toward the scene on University Avenue. The lawsuit alleges about a dozen officers beat Cariente while his father was pinned on the ground and handcuffed. The complaint says the pair knew Tafokitao from church and wanted to help prevent bloodshed after hearing gunshots. His father, standing less than 10 feet away, was pleading with HPD saying, you've got the wrong guy. To which point the HPD said, and it's in the complaint, Quote, so you like to shoot at cops, don't you? And he said, my son, my son, as he could hear his son crying out in pain. At which point, one of the unidentified Doe officer defendants said, F your son. Today, Chief Joe Logan responded to questions from the Honolulu Police Commission for the first time since the manhunt. Eddie Dowd is live at HPD headquarters. Eddie, what did the chief say about this lawsuit? Well, the commission did ask the chief directly about this lawsuit, and HPD's official comment remains that they can't comment on the lawsuit because it's an, an active legal case. But some commissioners felt that answer was not sufficient given the severity of this accusation. Now, three commissioners publicly told Chief Joe Logan that although there are two sides to every story, they felt the public deserved more of a response from HPD in light of this serious allegation of police brutality. I guess what I would suggest, uh, just anyway, as the chief, is you might want to expect just a little more substance to, to that statement. You know, in other words, I think the problem with the statement of just saying due to pending litigation or not <clears throat> is I don't feel like that's very acceptable in, in 2024. Like Former Hawaii TV news anchor Ann Botticelli, who serves on the commission, telling Logan she wants the department to get better using other platforms like social media to inform the, pu inform the public in real time as these situations unfold. Logan was also asked when he learned of all the information being posted by the public on social media as the day unfolded. It wasn't until I think later on in the afternoon that we realized that there was this much social media input as to what was going on. Um, I, I was receiving information from time to time about posts that were ongoing. Um, and so I did. Well, I was aware of some of it. I wasn't aware of the extent of it until much later. Logan says looking back now, the department could have done a better job informing the public and posting info on social media. But just one thing I want to point out, this was uh, by no means a grilling of Chief Logan by the commission, even the chair thanking the chief for um, admitting that the public c could have done a better job. Meantime, we're told that the investigation and review into the handling of the situation is still continuing. Reporting live outside HPD headquarters, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Thank you very much, Eddie.